Good start. And I think Robin, you've got the first part. Yep. Oh wait, hold on. Our screen, I'm gonna make it bigger so we can see. Multi-screen stuff. There you go. Okay. Welcome to Youth Sunday at Clinton Presbyterian Church. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We are glad you've joined us for worship. Will you join me in the spirit of prayer? Living God, speak to us anew of your love in Jesus Christ, that we too might live in love every day and show that love to all the world. As we listen to the prelude, pre please take a deep breath, settle into your space, and look around at all the beautiful faces of those who have gathered this morning. Noelle got uh, kicked out and now is joining us again. So <laughs> give her a second to get connected. Uh, please unmute your mic and join me in the intro. I invite you to join in on the lines that are in, the, that are in bold. If love is how we drive out fear, we pray to you, O God. Overwhelm us with the love of out of every fear. If your love is how we love others, then we ask you this day. To bless us that we might be a blessing to others. To challenge us that we might grow deeper in your love. To guide, guide us, us as we as your children. children. To lead us as we love boldly in your holy name. May you take us, us into the bearers of your love. During the act of penitence and the act of praise, you are invited to read the words in bold on your screen or in the bulletin. Please unmute your mic so we can hear one another as we join our voices in prayer. Whether we have the gift of beautiful speech or the gift of understanding and knowledge or the gift of faith or of generosity or of any other good thing, if we do not love, we do not love even, even our most precious talents are as nothing. And, and if we, we believe, believe love to be the only feeling or a thought, 
still do we miss the truth before God, God with the with people, the people of, God. of God. Let us, let us confess, confess the ways, the ways we have fallen, fallen short of God's, God's love. Let us pray. Let us pray. Love is patient and kind. And we are in a bit of a hurry. Love does not insist on its own way. But really, God, my way is clearly best. <laughs> Love is not envious or resentful. And yet we hoard it as if there might not be enough. Love is all these verbs. Rejoice, bear, believe, hope, endure. But we are tempted to confine it to what we can understand and control, turning love into romance or intellect. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God. When we have not lived in your love, when we have insisted and hurt and believed ourselves to know fully even as we know only in part, Forgive us, O God. When we have thought, spoken, and acted in childish ways, even as you call us to grow in your grace. Forgive us, O God. God. Draw us again into your embrace, that we may abide in faith, hope, and love. Amen. 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 Friends, hear the good news. Though now we see dimly as through a tinted window, love is clearing the way for us to know God just as fully as God knows us. We will live the good news in Jesus Christ. We are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 I don't know if you were going to introduce it or if I was going to, but um, I will gratefully pass the mic over to Melanie and Olivia to um, lead us in the hymn today that the kids picked, uh, The Gift of Love. Yeah. Just to remind everybody, if everybody who's not Melanie and Olivia would need right now, that will help us to hear them more clearly. Okay, I think you know this, this tune, it's a uh, old English folk song. Feel free to join in. It's got some really beautiful words.
so beautiful. Thank you guys so much. It was so fun to sing with you. Um, we now have some reflections that our, um, our students are going to share after we hear um, the scripture reading. As you know, we read from 1 Corinthians 13 uh, right before our annual meeting, and we talked about how love makes everything we do worthwhile, but it's such a really good, really rich passage that we wanted to spend some more time with it. And tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so there's lots of talking about love going on. Um, so uh, Fambesson is going to reread the passage for us just to refresh our memories. Do you want me to put it on the slides? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Should I just start? Go right ahead. All right. If I speak with human eloquence and angelic estasi, but don't but don't love, I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain, jump, and it jumps, but I don't love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a mayor, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares more than more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force its, itself on others, isn't always me first. Doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sign of the sins of others, doesn't rebel when others grovel, doesn't takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies, inspired speech will be over someday, praying in tongues will end, understanding will reach its limit. We know only a portion of the truth, and what, we, and what we say about God is always incomplete. But when the incomplete, but when the incomplete, the complete arrives, far incomplete will be canceled. When I was an infant at my mother's breast, I gurgled and cooed like any infant. When I grew up, I left those infants, infant wings for good. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist, but it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. We'll see it all then, see it all as clearly as God sees us, knowing him directly just as he knows us. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us toward the com some consummation. Trust steadily in God, hope unswervingly Love is strivingly, and the best of the three is love. Thank you so much. So I think, Calvin, are you going to go first? Is that all right? We, our youth have done some uh, mini reflections for you on this passage, so we're really excited to hear what you have to say. All I have learned from this message is that love is eternal and always there. The moment love has been implanted into a memory, it will, it, will, it will never go away, even if the item of love is gone. Love will forever be there as, as long as people can remember, can remember it. Even for a day after your loved one dies, the remembrance of love is still there carrying you. Love will, for, will, outlive, love, love will outlive every single one of us as we ourselves implant love to other people's lives every single day. In a way, we, can, we make love eternal and everlasting. So that, that's what I felt from the description. Well, thank you, especially if when we get, you know, parted by geography or space or death from people and places and things that we love. It's such a beautiful reminder. Thank you. Um, I think we're going to go next. Just working on the unmute. 
if you use that condenser mic, sometimes it can be weird. You just have to unplug. There you go. Yeah, no, I was just unmuting with the space bar and it made the Word document like. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Just one second. Okay. Um, the, path, the passage in Corinthians that we read shows how any action done without love has limited power. It says, if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. To be a follower of Jesus, you should want to love like Jesus. In a society today, in society today, a lot of people are rejected for the way they are or who they love. The rejectors who call themselves follower, followers of Jesus but who don't love like Jesus aren't following in the way of Jesus. There is a day coming up that is widely associated with love, Valentine's Day. In addition to loving like Jesus this Valentine's Day, we should recognize the flexibility of the idea of love. Love doesn't just exist between romantic partners, and love doesn't just manifest itself in the ways that we see it represented in the media. We need to, re we need to refer to this passage in Corinthians to put us right on what love is, without falling into the trap of listening to what our culture says and listening to the false ideas on love that even other religious institutions promote. I like it. A little challenge for all of us from Olivia. What we say and what we do sometimes are uh, at odds, right? And how do we really practice this love? Thank you. Uh, from Besan, you want to go next? Okay. All right. So during this scripture, it really it gave me a new perspective of like a definition of love. So we love as this cheesy cliche romance we see in movies or couples buying gifts on Valentine's Day. But love is so much deeper than that. It's a spiritual and mental connection, either it be with yourself, friends, family, and the community. Love is an everlasting growth that continues constantly. We often share love through actions, but sometimes it's meaningless. And that's not love. It's a sense of approval. Instead, love is when we comfort one another, confide in one another, guide one another, and so much love more. Love is loving yourself and trusting yourself in day-to-day -day, in day-to-day -day decisions, doing things that make you happy. Love is linking to God and letting him direct you to a path you know as well. Love will be meaningless until you give it a meaning. Beautiful ending sentence. Great, that's the hardest part, I think, is the end. Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> I like um in our conversations planning this when my son I think was the first person to bring up you have to be able to love yourself that's part of it and the way that we love God and each other are all kind of connected so nice did we get everybody did anybody else want to share anything okay good and we've got a little um another kind of interpretation of love to share. Yeah, I, you want, I'll do this one. I'll share it for you. <laughs> yeah. So the kids put this together. It's a picture of um, everything that they love and they pick the music that goes with it. Uh -huh. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sell the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you. Like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Tossing and you're turning and you just can't 
fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. are supposed to do all yeah you can count on me I added a few extra last minutes we got some more sorry I don't know what else is gonna keep playing though guys just so you know. here's the last one you but I feel like a Valentine's Day can be this real bummer you know because it's very like uh, buying candy and romantic love and uh, um, but you guys are high school and middle school students you have made me feel so full of ideas and excitement about the people that I love in all kinds of different ways and the places that I love and the things I love to do um, the ways that I can practice loving God and other people and myself. That's a beautiful gift. Thank you all so, so much for um, those reflections and those images and that music, which brought it all together. You did an amazing job. Okay. I'm just so proud. <laughs> They're so special, aren't they? Our, our youth are the best youth in the right? We are the best. Best ones? I think so, yeah, okay, cool. I see lots of applause, agree. So let's continue. I think Quinn is next with a call for the offering. Thank you everyone who has shown love for this community by giving support to the, to the church this week. If you are able, please take a moment to visit our online giving site or mail your offering to the church. We can feel the love of this community. Let us pray. Merciful God, you cannot call us you cannot call us to you because we are worthy, because you love us. We cannot offer you these gifts in order to earn your love, but to celebrate the love you give us. We think we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Yeah. Um, that Olivia wrote for us. Are you ready, Liv? Yeah. Um, do and we're supposed to do the parts in bold, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So please join me in the closing prayer by reading the parts in bold on your screen. Dear God, thank, thank you, you for, for bringing us together, together to learn, learn about, about love today. today. This Valentine's Day, help us to remember to not let love be defined by what we're told. 
Whether it be agape love, familial love, love for a church family, self love, love for strangers, love of those who are like us and those who are not like us. Please give us the love that is not self seeking and doesn't hold a grudge. Give us the love, the love, love, always, 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 here, here. Okay, let's do this first. <laughs> there we go. I moved my kids out of the way for this, so let me play this. Up. <laughs> okay, so stay unmuted for this part and join me in singing. Let love live in your heart. And share the love of Christ with all you meet. Share love by loving those you see regularly. First. Start by loving your community. Share love by loving those you do not know. How do your actions affect the rest of God's creation? Share love by praying for our world. In this time, we need to see, feel, and share love. Come to a read this item. As you go into the wonder of God's creations, share love, joy, peace, and hope with those you meet. Let us go in peace to love and serve God. Amen. 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 So nice to hear all those voices. Thank you, everybody. How about a round?